Right, welcome again to um, Arthur Brown Photography. So uh, today I'm going to take a, another look at the uh, Blackmagic Micro Colour Panel. Uh, this is a new bit of kit, uh, new to the market, new to me, uh, which I've had for uh, about 48 hours now and I've had a little play with it so I'm just going to start off with some looking at some some um, basic uh, controls a couple of bits of housekeeping for this first of all I think you need to be using DaVinci Resolve Studio 19 uh, for it to work properly and also the uh, the colour wheels and uh, track balls are really designed to work with primary colour wheels uh, and also with the log colour wheels. Where, when you set up in DaVinci Resolve on either the primaries or the log you get four wheels and uh, the track, track balls on here work from, uh, le from the left uh, and then uh, you can get the uh, the far right wheel to work by pressing the offset button. That's not not too confusing. So you've got lift, gamma, gain, and then you press a button, and the uh, the right the right hand uh, wheel becomes offset. And then it's the same with if I go onto the to log. Uh, it goes shadow, mid-tone, highlights, and you again press the offset button for the offset. So if I go back to uh, primaries here, you'll see if I if I spin the the collar on the left, the numbers go up, and you get a brighter brighter image. Now there is a quick reset button for left, so I'll press that. Again, if I go on to uh, onto wheel number two, you'll see the gamma goes up. And again, there's a reset for gamma as well. Wheel number three, gain. Again, you can increase or decrease the gain like that. And again, there's a reset button. Uh, so if I want to do I play the offset, I press the offset button here and then use the right hand uh, wheel and that will actually uh, change the offset and I can reset that actually by, with the reset game button. Well, the same thing goes for the, uh, uh, the, the, the track balls except that you can actually do uh, different colours. So if I start with the uh, the the lift track ball, the left one, and roll it. Hold on, no, I've got the offset set. Right, offset off. Uh, if I roll that, I can. Change the colours. There's a very fun control over this. I'm, you know, I'm spinning it a long way to get these uh, these uh, uh, these kind of colours. So if I gently want to go towards towards green, like that, or towards magenta, or towards blue, or towards red and orange. Again, I can reset that then. Same with the gamma, you can change the colours. Again, this is quite useful, particularly if you're looking to get try and get a uh, um, you know your own version of teal and blue. Uh, you can put very, very, very slight. I see I've put you know like one unit of blue into that, and it's made it's like quite a nice difference. So I'll just reset that. Uh, and again, with a gain. And make that towards red and magenta. Oh, make it cold with a, a bit of blue, a bit of green. Right, again, if I press the offset button, 
I can do that with the offset now. I can, now that, again, that's quite a nice, you could just, uh, again, quite nice, subtle colour changes. Right, I'll click the offset off. Right, there are a lot of buttons on this as well, so if I want to grab a still, just press the grab still button and you've got a new still. Now, grabbing a still is very useful actually for, um, uh, for you know, if you want to copy a grade from uh, you know one frame uh, or one section of film to another, but I also find it quite useful for uh, thumbnails because uh, obviously if you're posting um, stuff to YouTube it'll just pick thumbnails at random and often uh, you know they're a bit silly so uh, you can just you know pick a still here and then uh, use the e export facility in uh, Resolve just to export it as a JPEG uh, into your um, subdirectory and then uh, you can then use it to uh, use it for um, uh, for the thumbnail in the, in YouTube. So right. Also on the uh, the, the um, color panel, you've got a um, uh, transport button. So th there's a button with a square on it here, and that will just start and stop. You can also there's buttons for next clip, previous clip, next frame, which is quite handy if you want to go forward a frame at a time, or back a frame at a time. And then you can jump through the nodes as well. I've only got one node on here so at the moment, so there is a button to add a node. So I've added a node there. We've obviously jumped to the new node, so if I press the previous node button, it will jump back to the previous node. So that's quite good if you want to jump between the nodes. Now there is also a, a an auto colour function, which I've never used the auto colour facility in uh, in DaVinci, but if I press it, you'll see what happens. It gives it rather a garish. I don't know why, where it gets that from, whether it's based upon my previous editing or the look that's in it or what, I've no idea. But there's an undo button as well, which is quite good. Now, one thing that I've found very useful uh, is uh, to be able to um, to grade. Uh, using full screen and to be able to toggle backwards and forwards. So there is a button in the middle there called Viewer. So if I press that, uh, we get a uh, full screen. Now obviously it's hard to remember what everything does, so you can toggle backwards and forwards with this. But So if I want to say play with the, uh, the gain on this, so I'll put the Viewer on and then I can use the uh, The right hand wheel here to to change the gain or if I wanted to make the image a bit cooler I could use the trackball to uh, go down towards the blue green area right, and then I can toggle back using the view Right, that's some of the basic functions there. Um, this is the learning curve for me, as well as everybody else out there, because uh, you know this piece of kit has not been uh, on the market before. Um, as well as all those buttons and the three trackballs and uh, the uh, three wheels, uh, there's also a, um, a dozen rotary controls. Uh, so um, my next my next video uh, will be uh, going through and seeing what the rotary controls do. 
So I hope you found this useful. I uh, hope you're interested in this. Um, and uh, I'll say bye for now. Looking out for my uh, for my next video.